David Billiard, Covenant J. Jr. Aaron Rapper, Mars Park Jr. Mason Atkins, Providence High School sophomore. Miles Jones, Myers Park sophomore. Sterling Stokes, East Mickenburg junior. Tanya Alvarez, Barber Ridge junior. Sophomore. I do have to take it back, just because it won't last. Start it right quick. Sophomore. Let's do it one more time. Let's say the one thing I want to teach. Roger Ferguson, junior, Myers Park. Scott Walker. Hey, hey, I'm gonna tell you real quick. High school sophomore. Andrew Booker, Myers Park, Southwood. Andy Rose, RJ Reynolds High School, freshman. Andy Rose, RJ Reynolds High School, freshman. Kyle Novak, Myers Park High School, sophomore. Carlo Basenza, Audrey Kell, freshman. Jack Phillips, South Mac, freshman. Jacob Ashley, Oceanside, freshman. Jose Bonilla, Independence, junior. Brandon Bear, RJ Reynolds, sophomore. So take that back. Just take that back. Jordan Chesney, Mallory Creek freshman. Jane Lebox, South Mac freshman. First of all, first of all, school. All right, guys. I don't know why you're here. I'm just kidding with you, baby. I love you, man. Here we go. Thank you, man. Do one more time. That was awesome. All right, good stuff. All right, look.
But that's what you got to embrace. The person that breaks through that grind and finds every second to find a way to get better is a guy that's going to be prepared for Friday Night Football this fall. All right, don't let it get a little still. Try somebody else. Do something good, whatever it may be. The coaches are giving you fresh stuff that's going to give you what you need to go back to school and take what your coach is teaching you and become a phenomenal football player if you let it. We can only give you so much information, so take it and run with it. It's a phenomenal opportunity right here, I'll tell you. So I'm going to kind of go back to my roots. We'll go back to my roots real quick and then we'll introduce our guest speaker because we're, we're very fortunate now. First of all, Mr. Greer, can you come in for a second? I remember from the first day I stepped on the football field, I think I was seven years old. Seven years old. And basically I had to go against this cat right here. He was a year ahead of me. This guy right here set the bar for how I needed to act and how I needed to do things in life. So whatever he did, I figured out what, how to do it. I'd ask him questions or whatever they be. The point is, we got a lot of roots, but he wore me out. I never beat him in anything. And I never beat him in anything, I'll tell you. But he made me a better person. He made me a better person. He went on to play at State and has come to become a great businessman and has been a, fa a great family leader and an awesome community leader. The point is, guys, there's gonna be somebody bigger, faster, stronger than you. Don't think you're all that in a bag of chips. Find that person that's better than you and go figure out what they're doing. Go figure out what they're doing and then go mentor somebody else. That's what he did to me. You guys can do it. You see somebody down, you pick them up. Right? You're feeling down, then go find somebody that you think will really pick you up. All right, when you're down, talk up, and when you're up, talk down. But this is the guy right here that did it for me. Go find somebody to do it for somebody else. So thank yourself. You'll feel better about yourself. And you're going to get better. Okay? Now, talk about getting better. As we were very fortunate, I'm not going to be long winning because there's not, not much to say about it until I tell you his name. But because I enjoy watching, I, I like guys. I watch. I love watching guys rush the passer, and I like guys um, protect the passer and be able to run the football. The game of football starts to me as close to the football, and then you work out. That's how you build a football team. And when you can control a line of scrimmage, you can control a, a game. And when you control a game, you win a lot of games. Okay, so that's what I believe. And having been a quarterback that's been in a bunch of different situations, I tell you what: when you can run the football and control a line of scrimmage, it's a heck of a thing. And it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, a huge couple level for a quarterback. Conversely, when, when you're a quarterback and, and the D-line is controlling the line of scrimmage and they're in your face and they're at your feet and, you, and your feet are um, off, you know, off balance, that's, that's a bad feeling. That's a shaky feeling. And that ha if that happens early in the game, you know it's going to be a long day. So it's awesome to see you guys out here working. A couple things I want to talk to you guys about, and, and Roger kind of hit on them all, was just what you do from here. You got three weeks left, right? Okay, what you do from here and what, how you take these things and apply them to your life, okay, and to your game, all right? Um, some of the best guys I've been around, the best players I've been around, man, they're, they're added, they're, they're, they're copious note takers. They, they, they take notes about everything that they do, all right? So when you leave here, what are you doing to, to take what you learn here and memorize it, all right? And, and add it and apply it to your life so that you can move on into the, to, after these three weeks, in the spring ball and in the summer and in the season where you can carry this stuff with you. So it's not just five weeks that we got together. This is a heck of a thing. Us skill guys have had seven on seven forever, right? And you guys just kind of get left twisting in the wind. Well, now you've got something that you can improve on it. I, I love watching this, man. I'm a football guy. I love football. All right? and, and I don't care what position it is. Watching guys work like you just did, man, that, it gives me chills, man. Because that's what it's about. That's how you get better. All right? That's where it's all born. It's right here, especially in the trenches. All right? So what are you going to do? How do you take things 
from here to there. It's habits. It's daily habits. So, for instance, all right, coach is talking to you about different things. How do I take those things and apply it? Well, take it home. When mom says something, when dad says something, listen, hey, take the garbage out. Do this, do that. How fast can you take what they ask you to do and put it to work? Because that you're flexing that muscle, that mental muscle, being able to do that, it applies in the game. It works in the game, you understand? Because that, that the same way that you do squats, you do bench to help you out here, is when, you, when you're obedient, when you do things in class right, when you do homework right, that mental muscle that it takes to memorize things, guess what, it happens on the football field too. Does that make sense? It happens on the football field too. But so many times we get so caught up with, man, I gotta get, I gotta get good with my hand I gotta get, All those things are important, don't get me wrong. We get so caught up in trying to be good at that and we let the football, uh, the school, and we let at home and being a good person, we let all that thing kind of go. And I'll just work on football. And all of a sudden, because I don't work on those things, football, I just kind of average at football. And then when I focus on those things and I, and I take advantage of the opportunities that come in those things, I get better at football. So it's all connected. It's all connected. You can't let that go because that's what's gonna that's what's gonna take you from whatever you are as a player, your potential to, to the next level. Okay, because those are the little things that matter. all those little things matter. All right, I have, I've had the great privilege. I played I played with ten teams in seventeen years now. The great privilege of playing with some, some very good players. All right, one of my favorite, one of my all-time favorite, as a human and as a player, and everything in between. Joe Thomas. All right. Came in the league, went to Pro Bowls, and went to Pro Bowls until he quit playing. All right, never stopped going to Pro Bowls. All right, he would come out towards the end of his career. The knee was kind of not the best. He would come out and he wouldn't practice. He couldn't. He couldn't. He was at the point where he couldn't practice all the time. All right, but he could be. He would, he'd be ready to play on Sunday. He had to take. He take unbelievable notes about every guy he was going against. He had a book on every single DN he, he, he was facing. He could pull that up and look at that again. All oh, this is. This is this guy this week, J.J. Watt, Von Miller, who have you know, whoever it is, right? But we, I'd watch him in walkthroughs. We'd go out and do our walkthroughs, okay? And he would, we would go through a play, and then he would just, he'd go through his feet over and over again. He's over and over again. Here I am, I'm sitting here, like this guy's been to a pro, every year he's been in the league, he's been to a pro bowl. But the details of his hand placement and those things matter. We're in the middle of a game. I'm trying to tell you who we're playing. I believe it's Arizona Cardinals. We're in the middle of a game, noise, everything, all that, all that business. And I come over the bench, and we're talking about something. We're gonna make an adjustment. I go down to the offensive line, and talk to him about some of the things we're, we're, we're gonna adjust, uh, <clears throat> make the adjustments. And he's sitting there talking with Mitchell Schwartz, who's our right tackle. Okay, Mitchell, Mitchell Schwartz is a heck of a tackle. All right, unbelievable player. And they're they're sitting there, and all this noise, and they're quietly communicating about hand placement. Hand placement. Hey, well, did you get your hands here? Did you all of that? All that going on, and they're, they're worried about the little details. Hey, if you get your hands here, you'll be good. You'll be in good shape. And so, all those little things matter. But how I apply all those little things is because all the other things in my life matter, and I take those, and I and I and I take advantage of those opportunities. Something bad comes up, you know, you get a bad grade, adversity, like 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 uh, uh, Coach said, you embrace the grind, you embrace that. And, and I flex that into that mental muscle and that emotional muscle where I can step into that and it's no big, no big deal. So when it happens to me in the game, man, I do that all the time. You know what I'm saying? It's not a big deal. I embrace that person all the time. You know, I didn't get to go to the movie that I wanted to go see. I did something bad. Every day you wake up, something bad is going to happen. It's inevitable. Something's going to happen that you didn't want to happen. And how you respond to that will say a lot about you and the future. And that's the game of football. It, it, raise your hand if you've ever played a game where every single play in that game went exactly how you wanted to go. Anybody? No. But how we respond is what matters the most. And how we practice responding to things on a daily basis will help us in that, in that situation. Last thing. This is why I love um, these units so much. But tell them, Roger, I, I don't normally wear Jets gear. Um, because I play on so many teams, I don't, I don't know which gear to grab. <laughs> but I, I don't normally wear Jets gear, right? Um, but I like this one because it was our military one. I love the military. You guys are unique to every position because you play a position that rely on one another. Okay? And it's very similar to the military. I know sometimes we take liberties with, uh, with sports and, and, and the military, and sometimes those are a little far stretched. But what's cool is the principles that apply in the military apply to you guys more than any other position group. Because you guys have to function as a unit. And the way that you 
the, the way that you compete, the way that you work, the way that you communicate, all of that, you touch one another. And, and your ability as a left guard to help the left tackle in the center, those all those things work together. I can't tell you how many times when I've been with a bad unit, it's because they can't talk, they can't communicate, they lack those abilities. All right, but the guys that work together, the, they might not be as talented, but the guys that can, can communicate clear and work together in the heat of the moment, those are the best units. And so, fellas, that's what's beautiful about the position that y'all play is because you get to do that on a day-to-day -day basis. Those things matter. How you work matters because that unit is depending on you. And then the, the broader scope, the team is depending on that unit. And like we said in the beginning, if that unit controls the line of scrimmage, we got a heck of a chance to win a football game. Okay, so I, I, I just want to encourage you as you move forward through these next weeks, develop a plan on how you're going to go about continuing to improve. You got three more weeks left. How are you going to take what you learned here and apply it to your to your uh, to spring ball, to your summer, and then to the fall? Because these things are the, the game of football is beautiful because it applies to life, and that's the, and that's the best part of it. Yes, if you get to be a part of a unit and depend on one another and be accountable on all those things. We need people like that in our society. We need people like that, that are accountable, that, that can communicate well, that care about each other. That's what this game teaches us. That's what your position group specifically teaches you, which is awesome. And so I get excited about it because not only does it help us win football games, but it helps our society get better because we leave here better humans. So I, I just appreciate you so much for letting me come hang out with you guys. I'll probably come around again. I encourage you to keep working hard. Um, I didn't start. Uh, my, I didn't start on varsity until my senior year. Okay? So anybody, I don't know where you're at in your journey, in this football journey, I didn't start until my senior year. Okay? I had an older brother who was all everything. I had a younger brother who was all everything. And I'm still playing. <laughs> okay? So I'm just saying, you don't know how it goes. Alright? You don't know how it goes. You just keep your head down and keep working. And look at every opportunity to embrace whatever comes your way as an, as an opportunity to get better. And if you do that, you'll have a chance. And at the end of the night, you lay your head down on your pillow, you have peace in your heart, knowing you gave everything you got. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Uh, you know, one of the things that I take away is that he doesn't need to be here. He's a quarterback, man. He's still living my life. Man. But what he says is he cares about the trench. And I've seen him talk to players that have no business playing football. But you know what? He makes them feel good about saying, hey, this is what you need to work on. How's life? How's, how's things at school? Right? He cares. He shows it. You guys are leaders. And what he's telling you, man, if you just soak in half of what he said, you're going to be better than that. He don't have to be here. But he wanted to come. When I said, hey, Tasha, you come and talk. He said, man, what time do I need to be there? What time do I need to be there? You can't wait. So I hope that when you put your head on the pillow tonight, man, your head's swirling. Techniques, one-on-ones, lost one through, got a good one here. You know, Josh McCann came to talk. It's going to be a lot. You're going to take a lot to process. Receive it, man. All right? Guys, this is a great session today. we got three more opportunities to get better. Well, I said, maybe you, 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 you,